I was looking for August. It's September. September 1st. If I would have listened to myself yesterday, I would have remembered that. But here we are, beloved. On this Thursday, for whatever reason, Penn State plays their first game of college football today, tonight. I try not to care. I try so hard. And yet here we are. For what it's worth. I hope your day is lovely. And if you want to spend a few minutes dwelling in God's Word today, uh, Deuteronomy is the, the book of Scripture we're invited to meet at, chapter 30. So um, I'm sure you're already there and waiting to go. So let me find my way to meet you there. 15th verse of chapter 30. Uh, let's read here a few verses together, and then we'll see what our devotion writer from Christ in our home offers for us. Choose life. Yes, that is, that's, oh, this is the choose life, right, because this is the Old Testament text for Sunday, which I already have most of my sermon out of my heart and head um, uh, for the Spirit's work in the next couple days, and it is uh, choose life. So verse 15, Pastor Heike is way ahead of us. Let's share together. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity, death and adversity. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God that I am commanding you today, by loving the Lord your God, walking in his ways, and observing God's commandments, decrees and ordinances, then you shall live and become numerous. And the Lord your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to possess. But if your hearts turn away for, uh, uh, and you do not hear, but are led astray to bow down to other gods and serve them. Maybe, see, that's how I have to understand Penn State football, right? I shouldn't bow down to other gods. Ah, oh, this is great. All right, where was I? I declare to you today that you shall perish. You shall not live among, long in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Choose life, Pastor Heike. Choose life, uh, so that you and your descendants may live, loving the Lord your God, obeying him and holding fast to him. For that means life to you and length of days, so that you may live in the land that the Lord swore to give to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Word of God, may it be a word of life for you, uh, to encourage you to continue to choose life each day as we live, therefore, because of God's blessing and saving grace that we know through Jesus. So Christ in our home offers a devotion for us today. Be invited to read along if you'd like, if you have it there with you. It's entitled Daily Life for You. Inviting our focus to that 15th first verse that we read, I have set before you today life. Today's passage from Deuteronomy is a summons for the people of God to start fresh, to return to God, to lean on and lean from God's wisdom, learn from God's wisdom and God's word. I recall waking up our sleepy children in the morning. I would often say, good morning, sweetheart. My, my, I think you grew about half an inch last night. You are stronger and smarter after day after day. It is amazing. I sing to Addie in the morning to wake her up. In our life, we make many choices. Some are trivial, others substantial. Often we feel blessed by our choices. Sometimes we falter and suffer the consequences. As a compass always points north, our God never wearies in offering new opportunities, ever new invitations to renew life and faith. May we, like the people of Israel, be heartened by this promise. For even with the struggles of our wayward wanderings, God's steadfast love encourages us with the dawn of a new day today. And my, my, it is amazing. An invitation to pray together this morning. Gracious God, help us trust your promise of new life today. Amen. And as this day unfolds before you in all of your excitement for Penn State football, I know, no, not really, be, in pray, be invited to pray for uh, guidance with difficult choices. Uh, I'm going to spend the core of my day on retreat with my colleague Paul Schick at the Norbertine Abbey in prayer and study and devotion. 
some planning. So may God bless you and hold you today as you continue uh, in to abound in God's life uh, and faithfulness today. We'll uh, look forward to worshiping together uh, on Sunday and uh, continuing this journey next week through life and faith that we share together. God bless you and God hold you.